Tiffy time my dammies, Top Cat here and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say 90% of you out there enter a gambit match with whatever you have on you. But whether you're in there to get the seal, pinnacles or grinding for that perfect onslaught AR, it'll go a lot faster and be a lot more enjoyable if you get yourself a build. I'm a dredgen or death and whenever I run a titan, I run this build. I've run it pretty much for like the last six seasons. It hasn't changed. It works. There will be a dim link in the description below and slides at the end if you like what you see. This is designed to work around solo queuing, but I'm going to try and break it down as this game progresses. Make sure to thumb it if you like it, sub if you're new. I find Gambit builds are quite unique as we want to set up for both PvE and PvP. So you want to try and find something between the Peacekeepers and the Curious of the Falling Star. But for me, it's all about the Seismic Strike. At say GM level, it's shite, but in Gambit level, it's a very powerful killing tool. Additionally, its blinding effect allows us to dive into the thick of it, whilst amplified, this effect is even larger. And an insurmountable skull port allows us to abuse this like the first time you realised if you rubbed it hard enough, it makes a mess. Difference is though, this is ready to melee again instantly. And it triggers health regeneration. Paired with knockout, our melee range and damage will be increased. This also affords us health regen and importantly amplified. This will make those blinds larger, boost our handling and reload, but perhaps its strongest asset is the speed boost. Gambit is a race. My Titan's only running 30 mobility, but I'm as fast as Sonic and hit like the juggernaut, bitch. Resistance gives me DR when I'm surrounded, and feedback allows me to punch like Popeye if you dare to smack me. For extra super juice on melee kills, I run double hands on. With this, despite the fact I'm running T-Crash with a 916 cooldown and only 40 intellect, I'll easily get multiple supers in a match. Because of this, I have no problem using this as a movement tool. Ignoring the fact that I'm pretty sure I just T-crashed that laggy bastard and he lived, no matter, I brought a chainsaw. Rev it up and cut him down. I thrust her for movement. Shields are a waste of time in here. Stop being a puss and move forwards. With powerful attraction, I will automatically collect moats when I thrust them. This works even better on Arc Hunter with combination blow but our Arc Titan would be the second best, as with Spark of Focus, after sprinting for a short time, our class ability regeneration is increased. I want to take a bit of a beat here, as a lot of you Guardians are underestimating the value of an invasion. If it's open, go on in, the goalie has been lifted, she wants you inside of her. Equally, if you've got an open portal, do not, I repeat, do not bank the final moats, until you send someone through it. I see this way too often. This is your last chance to delay the enemy team until they get their primeval, so please, please, please take advantage of it. Even if you're shithouse at shooting at guardians, your presence alone is often enough to delay the enemy team. I'd suggest a long range primary weapon. Scouts are great for this. I've played a bit of Gambit over the last few days and gotten nearly 400 guardian kills with my bank of air ute. Throw on some unflinching mods so you can duel with guardians. I've been using rewind to help me take on targets like the shriekers from afar and the sword logic power bump comes easy and often. This titan is a melee monster and its curse thrall origin trait can grant my precision weapon some AOE damage. Innovation reduces my grenade cooldown on orb pickup Spark a Shock gives our grenades jolt too. I find this valuable as once I've jolted, both allies and myself can damage from near or far. If we slap on a pulse grenade, arc grenade cooldowns are very similar at this point, but this one offers us the most direct damage. The Touch of Thunder aspect buffs us further, increasing its damage on every pulse, and it's going to send us out Ionic Traces to feed us back energy. Even at this level, bosses can still kill you, so run some resistance mods, you know, you can cast of things like that. I pretty much always got a surge cranking as my melees feed me orbs every 10 seconds. 
time dilation it extends the surge to 15 seconds so they overlap grab your favorite special weapon do not run double primary i've been running the royal executioner with mbs assassin and resort burst that way i can take on both taken knights wizards things like that and i can shoot you pesky guardians from afar taken spec allows me to smash out envoys and blockers alike t crash and done Give this build a go for yourself, stop dawdling around the map, get in there, get hard and get competitive. This build may seem old school but in Gambit it's strong. Pause here for all your mods and fragments, make sure to hit that like, sub if you're new, I always love to chat with you in the comments down below and until next time, tippy tie my dammies, what a tie.